So years ago, I got rid of my big, bulky, leather trifold wallet. It was just too big. I had a tendency to put too many things in it just because it could hold it. And every time I put it in my back pocket, it made me lean a little bit to the side and uh, it wasn't good. What's up? So that's when I decided to start getting the alternative style wallet. The problem with this style is, at least in my experience, once you press this little button, the cards come out and these kind of become loose. It's not going to do it now, obviously, because I'm on video. But you can see it's pretty loose in there and it can fall out pretty easy, which has happened to me in the store before. And you can only put so many cards in there. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five cards in here, but that's about all I can get. Also, as you can see here, my cash is extremely loose and I've actually lost money. Um, 10 bucks not long ago, just fell right out, gone. So looking online and checking out some reviews, I came across the Ridge. A lot of people were saying it's the best wallet out right now. Is it? Well, I've had this for about a month now. Um, I put it back in a box just for effect. When you open it, this is what it looks like. It comes with a little credit card, the wallet itself, and a little screwdriver. So uh, let's take this out and I'm gonna show you what this is all about. So my initial reaction to the Ridge was wow. Um, just how well it's made. This is actually the aluminum gunmetal. Um, I went with the aluminum just because I wasn't really sure what to expect. This was already uh, $72 uh, just for the aluminum. Uh, they do make a titanium version at 105 and a carbon fiber at 115. I didn't want to spend that much money and the aluminum is uh, just fine for me. Like I said, you can just, it's, it's made of uh, anodized aluminum and there's 14 stainless screws holding this thing in see the back very very nice very very high quality and that's why they included this guy because if they get loose all you gotta do is just tighten them up so it's really cool really cool they included this little screwdriver it says the ridge right on it that's awesome they included this little credit card it's not a real credit card but it's credit card size and it has little instructions on the back so it kind of tells you how to insert a card um, to access a card and to access one of the middle cards. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to do that now. All right, so to get the cards in there, you can see there's two plates here and it's held by elastic, one piece of elastic that's inside on both sides and the bottom so they don't fall out. And this is how it opens, just like this. It's really super easy if you just wanna put one single card in there just like that. But sometimes I trip up and uh, when I put cards in there, it kind of goes over too far and you can see, you know, the elastic get in the way. And I can see myself over time doing this so much that the elastic will start to, to fray here and maybe even tear. So that is one downside to this wallet I've seen. You can see how it's shaped here that um, they make it really easy. It's kind of curved. And it's real easy to just stick a card in there. That's one plus about this wallet that I really like. This has no danger of anything falling out because of the elastic. If I put one card in there, it's not gonna fall out. So that's another really great thing about this wallet. If I wanna carry one or eight cards, they say up to 15, but I don't think that's right. Um, comfortably, you can put about eight cards. I carry about five and uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of room left. So let's do that now, let's put in five cards. Five. five cards very easily and it's very very thin still um, like I said in the beginning of the video it's one of the reasons why I got rid of that bulky wallet the bulky leather trifold wallet that everyone seems to still carry around it's just so thin and light sometimes over the last month when I've been carrying this in my pocket I kind of forgot I was carrying it because it's no bigger than an actual credit card itself look at also I had the problem with um, the really crappy loose money clips and this one I can't see stretching out at all I mean it's almost it's hard to even press in there but look at that it's not going anywhere they also make one that has a strap 
Um, I wasn't really sure about that one either because I'd never had an elastic strap to hold in my money. That kind of went right around this. So I just went with the traditional money clip and um, I'm pretty happy with that. So the Ridge does have the RFID uh, blocking, which is kind of a standard these days. It's hard to find a modern wallet without that feature. Um, so nobody can just come scan your cards through your wallet and steal your information. Um, so let's see how we get the cards out. And this is my biggest negative with this Ridge wallet, is you, you have to press this little piece up here. So what I would do is I would hold the side and press up. So getting this card out is super easy, but getting one out in the middle is where the problems start. They say what you have to do is you have to put them out halfway and then squeeze the bottom and then you can access it, which will work, but it's just a clunky way to do it. So I would suggest putting your most used, maybe one or two cards right here, and then the other one right here, just because. So you can just press the little tab here, stick them out a little bit, fan them open, and then either take this one or this one. So am I regretting my purchase of $72, which is pretty pricey for a wallet, considering you can still go out and buy the traditional uh, trifold wallet at Walmart for like five bucks. Um, am I regretting it? Absolutely not. I mean, there are some negatives about this thing, but uh, I think the positives outweigh the negatives, and I'm actually pretty happy I got this, as long as it does have a lifetime guarantee, but as long as it lasts, uh, I gotta look into the fine print of that lifetime guarantee. But um, that's what it says on a website, and I'll put a link to the website down below and uh, an Amazon link if you guys want to grab one for yourself. Also, I just wanted to say that I've had this for a month now. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna put it in the, the light here. But I put this in my pocket, and I've had it for about a month now, and I put coins and everything in there, and there's not a scratch on it. So check that out. I mean, this thing is actually really well made, and that's why I think that this is gonna last a long time. And uh, I think it'll actually pay for itself over the next year or two, based on how many wallets I would go through, like junk like this. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Ridge? Uh, let me know in the comments below first, if you're planning on buying one or if you guys had one. Um, it's been out for a little bit now and uh, what your experiences are with it. If you do have one, what your experience is with this, uh, the elastic on the sides. Um, has it frayed by trying to put in cards and not fitting correctly or whatever. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please give me that like. It just helps the channel. If you're new, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.